If you're interested in buying Fallout 76 caps, weapons or items, check out easympc.com and use my code DTDG for 5% off via the link in the description. Hey everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. Today I'm going to show you a glitch which I've recently been shown by Scorpio Prime which allows you to float crops. Now you may be thinking, why would I possibly want to do that? Well, by floating them not only will it protect them from enemies, but it can also create a really cool cam feature. In the last few weeks I've showcased camps that use razor grain with orange lighting to create this kind of ambient setting and really cool uh, feature in like builds and stuff. So give it a go, it's really fun. If you enjoyed this little trick then make sure to hit that like button and share with your friends. Also if you're new around here and want to see more camp building guides and videos make sure to subscribe. So it's a pretty easy trick to do and you can do it with pretty much any crop in the game. I'm yet to find one that doesn't work, but if there is one, let me know in the comments. So to do it, you're going to need to place a conduit on the floor. Make sure where you place it is in a plantable area for crops. So it will have to be like dirt. Uh, don't try this on like concrete or a rock or something, because obviously you can't place a crop in a rock. So, aye. Once you've done that, place the crop on top of the conduit. It can be a little tricky to pick up the conduit with the plant on, so have a little play around with it until you can select the conduit. I know certain ones, like say the razor grain and the mud fruit, you have to use the larger conduit just so you can actually get it to work. If you didn't use that and use the smaller one, it was a right pain. Once you've done that, all you have to do is grab the conduit and connect it to another conduit which you have placed in the area you want these, these crops to float easy as that. As you can see in the footage I've used multiple crops to do this with including the mud fruit, the razor grain, tato plant and corn. They were the only uh, like plants that I had at the time so I just tried it with all of them. Um, but yeah like I say as far as I'm aware this works on everyone there. If you want to add a cool effect on these add some lighting to them and then make them like really stand out so you could use like the blinking uh, Voltec lights or Christmas lights, you could put icicle lights in them, you could put like the little lanterns on top of the conduit if you want. You could do all sorts if you want to make these really pop and stand out. That's it though, it's a nice easy short guide today just showing a little trick on how to float these things. I've not seen anyone else cover this in a video yet so maybe this is the first one. I don't know who originally found this but whoever you are, shout out to you. And again, shout out to Scorpio Prime who showed me this trick. If you want to go check out his camp builds, I'll drop his link in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you have some fun with it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you later. Bye bye.